Hey guys, what's up? It's Tosh Bradley. I just wanted to take a minute today. Uh, you got the whole setup in front of you. Just wanted to talk and introduce myself and say that there is so much demand in the market right now. There's so much opportunity and I see a lot of guys losing out there, man, and it's really bumming me out. So I wanted to create this video and really kind of harp on and have a heart to heart and discuss the eight major reasons, the eight why, maybe the eight pitfalls of trading, why traders are losing money right now, or why they always have been because maybe they don't have a process or a certain criteria and a certain game plan each day, but the major eight reasons why if you're losing money now, you're still losing money, and most importantly, why like 90% of traders lose. Number one, guys, number one, um, the mobile traders out there, the Robin putters. Um, you cannot wing it in this industry. I cannot stress this enough after a seven year career in trading in stocks and the stock market, um, I have come to the conclusion that it is almost guaranteed, 100%, if you wing it, you're gonna lose. The only people that make money are the people who show up to the market every day. They have a plan, they have a game plan, they're reading watch lists, they're seeing their scans, they're seeing what's moving, and then they're zeroing in. The guys that are on mobile and thinking like, wow, this is a great buy, or give me an alert or a random ticker, these are the guys that lose. So, you know, there's so much opportunity in the market right now. You know, all these guys are joining mobile applications like Robinhood, and you got the Robinhooders and all those guys, and even your grandma's probably trading nowadays and she's giving you stock tips, but my point is, and I got a lot of passion behind this, you gotta have a plan. This mobile trading, this winging it, this, this whole thing of like, hey, just give me a stock pick, it doesn't work. It's the number one way to lose. Number two, guys, number two, I, I, I dude, I've said, I have a whole nother video on this. I have said this time and time again. If you wanna watch that video, click the link below, but this is about the pump and dump Fuguru. I, I could talk for four hours on this subject, but if you guys don't know what this is, there are what's called pumpers out there. Uh, Furu, F-U-R-U, a fake guru. What they are doing is they are doing, if you read this in any service, you read these. Follow my text alerts. I turned a $1,000 account into 15 million, 10 billion, whatever it is, some bullshit promise that he offered you. He's driving around the Lamborghinis, he's selling lifestyle. This is the pump and dumper. This is the guy that is getting 10,000 people on YouTube. This is the guy that's getting 4,000 people in his chat room and he's doing what's called an alert service. So anytime you hear alert service, run for the Himalayas, man, run for the hills. So what these guys are doing is they're suckering you in with this amazing like Lamborghini lifestyle, Ferraris, Rolexes and blah, blah, blah. And they're pumping positions, so they will alert a mass crowd of people into buying what's called an illiquid stock. Maybe the Robin Hooders, right? This is why all this crazy buying is happening. People are buying Hertz, which is a bankrupt company last week. Like, how does that make sense? So these furus are sending out alerts, mobile alerts, email alerts, Palm Pilot, whatever it is, outdated tech, and all these, for lack of a better word, uneducated idiots are just following blindly. Look with money and with anything in life, but most importantly money, you don't just throw your money to someone and trust that they're gonna guide you in the right way. You don't know these guys, you don't know these, you have no idea people's agenda. So they're pumping out to all these mass groups and you know, they'll get in a stock with no volume. It's just, it's just you know, trickling along. And then what happens when you have 10 to 20,000 people follow your alert? He's going to have all the people buy and artificially create a move and then sell into your buy. So the guys that are chasing up here and up here and up here and up, you know, then when he sells, they all get dumped on and the stock goes back to almost an organic move of, you know, creating something artificially and then it gets sold organically and then you're stuck holding the bag. So I don't want that to be you, man. This is, if not number one, this is the number two reason why people lose money in the market. They follow other people people's alerts. This is this is a fallacy. This is not gonna make you rich. You may get lucky on one or two alerts and then the third one bankrupts you and you don't know why. You just trusted some scumbag. So I'm here to help you guys today. Number three guys, uh, this is pretty much number two but I want to expand upon it. It's the Furu business model. So I just want to be very clear if you didn't understand that before. A man who parlays himself as a genius gets a massive following, maybe in a chat room, then he gets a following on YouTube, social media, wherever he can pump his position. He 
He then alerts to the general public that, hey, ticker symbol XYZ looks really good, when in fact it's dog shit. He's just trying to get a move out of you. He will send a mass group alert to said public. Said public will follow up the pump, create an artificial move. He will then have gotten the move that he wants, place a sell order when you're buying and chasing it highs because he promised you or you think this is a great company. And then you are down on your long position, what's called the long. You bought and now you're gonna have to sell because it's a terrible company you're holding. And then the stock keeps unwinding itself. And guess what? If it doesn't, he just keeps pumping and pumping higher. So maybe you're getting in, you know, a thousand shares at one dollar and you're like, it goes to two. You're like, oh my God, I'm up a thousand dollars. Then he's pumping up to three. You're like, oh my God, dude, I just joined him up three thousand dollars, but you're not exiting your position. You're not selling. Then what happens when reality sinks in? That thing goes from three to 50 cents and you're down. Dude. Maybe you added at two, maybe you added at three, maybe you added at four, depending on that. And your average is so terrible, guys, that by the time the stock actually does an organic move down and sells, and then what's called shorts, short buys traders take advantage of the downside, you're really down on your position. So, you know, again, guys, if you chase alerts, if you follow someone else's whole kind of crazy holy grail analogy or a stock pick, that's not how things work. This is the real world. Uh, I've been trading for seven years and I've never once seen any trader make money following alerts, maybe for a day, maybe for a week. He's dead the next year, he's dead the next month. You cannot sustain a trading career doing that. So you gotta think for yourself, you, you, gotta, you gotta join a community or create a plan where people are teaching you how to trade, where you're learning how to go fishing. You know, it's not like we're gonna give you a, like a fish and then you eat for a day. We're gonna give you the fishing pole, man, so you can go in every single day for the next decades or 100 years and you're gonna learn. The key is self-sufficiency and learning the process for yourself. All right, guys, number four, uh, this is one of my favorite ones and this absolutely transformed my own trading. I, I, I can't speak more highly of this. Anybody that basically disregards this or, you know, acts like it's not important or even bashes it is so full of man. You need risk management, but most importantly, you need hard stops in your trading. I don't care who you are. I don't care the size you're playing with. Unless you have hard stops in your trading, one day you could be gone. And you know, all these small guys, man, that join the accounts and they're, they're just getting interested in trading. You know, it's really hard, man, because they come in and they, they don't know what risk management is. They don't know that when a stock is under a certain line, you need to get out of your long position. Or if it's above a certain line or a high of day level is breached, you need to stop out on your short position. So if, you're, if you guys are new, if this is relating to you and you haven't used the hard stop yet, guys, please, please take it. This is not financial advice, but take a week break. Practice on a simulator with hard stops and see the results of consistency that you may transform into and get because I don't know any traders, guys, that um, don't obey risk management and don't obey hard stops and do really well by the end of the year. Like I said, it's kind of like following alerts and stuff. You're gonna get lucky, you're gonna get lucky, and then something is going to set you back heavily. And that's not what I want for you guys. I want you to see that everyday consistency, not going for major home runs, going for base hits, doubles, triples, and then look, a home run is gonna come. But you're protecting yourself to win a base hit or lose half a base hit. You know what I mean, does that make sense? And then, and then eventually you're just gonna get a double, triple, and a home run, but you're gunning for that consistency, and you're gunning for those everyday little bits that are gonna add up so much more to the end, uh, at the end of the month, at the end of the week, at the end of the year, versus you saying, I gotta hit a grand slam every single day, I gotta go for the win, I'm gonna risk my entire account. Those are the guys that, those are the guys that lose. Those are the guys that end themselves and those are the guys I've never heard of again after maybe a quick claim to fame. The key is longevity. Traders, when they treat trading like, like a hobby, those are the first guys that are dead, man. Hey, like, I just want a quick win, buy a Rolex, I'm fucking out of here. That's not how this works, man. This is a job. And the day that you treat this like an absolute full-time job, and you do spreadsheets, and you track data, and you talk with traders who are really getting it, and you, and you, you get mentored by them, or you kind of network with them, that's when the real growth follows. You are learning for yourself, you're learning risk management, you're learning lines, you're learning patterns and setups that are very identifiable between price action and emotions that traders are feeling on either end of the spectrum. Whether it's long, whether it's short, um, even options for God's sakes, there's a lot of psychology baked into every ticker that's run, almost every ticker that's running. And this, this 
fear or panic or emotions or psychology can be taken advantage of. But you need certain things. Like I said, you need to know process. You need risk management. You need to know when to stop out. Knowing when to stop out is going to just eliminate all that stress and all that overhyped emotion. You know, when new traders come to me and they're like, Tosh, dude, I am very scared to uh, cut a loss. I'm like, well, why? Don't you want just a paper cut so it doesn't become a big knife wound? Like, dude, it, it, there's an analogy, right? There's an analogy. If you walk up to like, like a river and it's populated with like crocodiles or alligators, if you don't cut a small loss, you're dipping your toes in the water, right? Like you're dipping your toes in the water. If you add, 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 now you're down a ton, your legs in the water. And dude, if you're going for a home run and the stock rips three or $4 against you and you can't cut the lot, the crocodile is just gonna come and eat your torso, man. When you could have literally just got like a guppy to like nibble on your toes, dude. Like, look, everybody who's a trader is gonna lose every now and then. Hell, seven years, dude, I lose all the time. But here's the thing. I win more than I lose, like any you know veteran trader does. And when I do lose, my losses are way less than my wins. That's the key to trading, guys. You've gotta really shore up um, losses. So the key for all you new guys, this is what you want. You want a small win, medium win, big win, or a small loss. You don't want a medium sized loss and you don't want a big loss. Again, you have a win, bigger win, biggest win, or small loss. Those are your four options. I like the medium, the big, and then the small loss, but you see what I'm talking about. Guys, number five. Process. What is a process? Every single day I'm coming to the market prepared. So, you know, I love community, man. Trade with a lot of traders, help a lot of traders. We help each other. We're looking for the same thing. Every single day, I'm reading watch lists. I'm creating a watch list. I'm setting up my lines. If if 16 stocks are running, you gotta understand, bro. I'm focused on one to four. So look, let's just do the math, right? Four, eight, 12. I have 12 charts right here. In the day, I am narrowing down on my Microsoft Surface Studio 2 right here, I'm narrowing down four. So that's one to four tickers I am trading on and zeroing in on drawing the lines, seeing the trends, seeing the SEC filings. I am forming a thesis based on back testing, based on experience, based on data tracking, based on criteria. What are, what is the flow to the stock? What are the shares outstanding? What is the short flow interest? There's a lot to know in trading, but when you first starting out, when you are first starting out, the analogy kiss, keep it simple, stupid, right? Every single day, if, if 12 things are running, guys, I'm focused on one to four. Why? Because if I trade, if I try to trade all 12, I'm going to probably lose. I am not focused. I'm not zeroing in. I'm not trying to make little money on 12 positions. I'm trying to make good or big money on one and two, three, maybe four. And sometimes that's a stretch, but the key is process. Every single day I'm seeing what's running. I'm looking at the scans. I'm reading watch lists. I'm setting my lines. I'm setting the levels. I, you, uh, this is all about going in prepared. I am knowing where I'm going to get in at a certain line or a certain level or a pivot point. I know where I'm going to scale up to. Scale is add to a certain level that is predestined within your plan. And then I know where my stop out is, what I talked about earlier. I know where my hard stop is and I know where I'll cut the stock if I am wrong. Number six, guys, this is one of my favorites. Uh, there's no holy grail in trading. If any one of those foods that I talked about earlier, if anybody mentions, dude, we got this perfect setup, man. It's Bollinger Bands, it's RSI, the blah, 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 with the blah, blah, blah. It's all bull man. They're trying to feed you some phony baloney stuff. Trading is a hard industry. It's not easy, but it's simple. And things can be simplified. There is no one holy grail strategy out there that's gonna make everyone billions of dollars. Or guess what? 90% of traders wouldn't fail. If there was this, that one strategy that XYZ pumper alerts and everybody can just go buy a private island based on the profits that they're getting from that, that's not realistic. So trading, while it is hard, while it isn't easy, it can be easy or easier through the simplification of process. And within all this, know that there's no holy grail, but it can be learned. Guys, number seven, profits before education is the most backwards thinking I, I, I've ever heard in my entire life. Tosh, I'm gonna invest in my education because uh, I got a you know, $3,000 account right now when I, when I make the profits. 
How do you think you're gonna make the profits to pay for education or to pay for a trading setup? See, look, I'm a big purveyor of, if you have, say you have a $5,000 account, you're a new guy, you got a mobile app, blah, 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 you're new, you got a three to $5,000 account. You don't think doctors go to medical school before they become doctors? You don't think lawyers go to law school? So you just expect in a very difficult industry to make it in without education, you just expect to go in with your own bias, go in with the ego and expect to kill it and then buy a house or buy a Rolex or whatever it is on the profits without getting educated and without getting a mentor? That is the most backwards in the world. Not only is it backwards, opportunity costs. Who's familiar with opportunity costs? So take trader A versus trader B. Trader A says, dude, I got a $5,000 account. I I'm gonna do it myself, man. And then I'll invest in education later and join you know, a chat room that's really gonna help me and buy gear later. Take trader B, who has a $5,000 account as well, invest $1,000 in a nice setup. You don't need something this fancy, but invest a little bit in a nice setup so he can see the place, so he can have process. Invest maybe $2,000 into education where he's gonna learn. I would put tons of money tomorrow on the fact that Trader A, with no education, a really dumb bias, and a huge ego, is going to take years longer than Trader B, and Trader B has, what, 2,000 left after all those purchases, versus 5,000 over here, yet Trader B, without ego, goes in, okay, I'm a guppy in a game of whales and sharks. I wanna learn how to be a shark because I'm not gonna make it as a guppy. I need to learn to swim with the sharks. Trader B is gonna make it. Opportunity costs now. Trader B is going to probably make a lot more money than Trader A in that first year. Now, with compound interest and momentum and investing in other assets or whatever, dude, with the right handling of the money or even parlaying that back in the stock market in his positions or upping size, Trader B is going to be light years ahead than Trader A, who probably floundered the whole first year, probably lost money, and most importantly, built terrible habits that have to be unlearned later, which is gonna take him a long time. So where Trader B is at year three, year two, year three, where Trader A is, Trader A will probably be starting over at year three. That's opportunity cost. Number eight, guys, why you need a community. Um, most traders fail because they don't have a community. I know I talk with my hands, keep, uh, I'm passionate, you know, keep up with me, but here's the thing. Traders, like I said before, come in this and they think it's a get rich quick scheme. They think it's easy. They think it's like, man, I could just make money overnight. And look, while you can make money overnight, the educated make money overnight over the uneducated because Look, the realistics of this industry are for every dollar lost, there's a dollar gain, and for every dollar gain, there's a dollar lost. The old saying is that the stock market is a tool and a vessel to give money to the educated from the uneducated. There's a lot of fear and panic in this game, in these charts, in these indicators, in, these, in this price action, in this you know candle formation. Are you taking advantage of that panic and on the shark side of it, right? Then the guppy side, like I used that analogy earlier. Are you taking advantage of the stupidity of longs or longs taking advantage of the stupidity of shorts, of chasing and revenge trading and, and going in without a plan? This can all be materialized, but you need a community. You need hundreds and thousands of traders behind you all looking at the same thing. So when, you know, the thing I love about community is not only do you have people to hold you accountable for maybe placing a dumb trade or doing dumb actions or not following your process, it's not only a way to get process, it's a way to remain humble, it's a way to see different perspectives so you're not lasered in on your own bias or your own ego or maybe you're an SEC filing guy and you're like, dude, this stock is going down 100% and you know, traders, you know, two, three, four, five, six of them are like, whoa, bro, maybe not, you know, take a look at this information that maybe you didn't pay attention to. So with the community comes networking, it comes 
downloadable content. It, there's usually videos you can watch. There's tools at your disposal. There are people to reach out to. Nobody got anywhere in any industry without a good mentor. And I would just go to my grave saying that whether it's real estate, whether it's financial education in any form, whether it's the stock market, whether it's, you know, like flipping houses, you need a mentor. And if you don't have a mentor, if you don't have that community driving force, it's just going to take you so much longer. And I could go a whole nother 30 minutes. I'm talking more examples about opportunity cost, but you guys need mentors. You need help. You need, um, you know, different perspectives. You need people to back you up, give you confidence when you're on a hot streak and to know why. And that's why, uh, you know, MIC was created. That's why the community of my investing club was created. You know, Bow Alex and myself created this for you guys to be educated on what has worked for us over the years and years of trading, the decades that Bow has been in this game. I mean, he came from fractions. Do you understand what that means? Guys, the point is, is if you need help, asking for help is not weakness. It is very courageous. Your money is so much better spent, especially if you're new, in entering an industry like this, investing in education, than trying to do this alone and wing it alone. And this is the heart to heart I wanted to have with you guys today and talk your ear off. But look, here's my business line. Two, one, three, four, five, eight, five, nine, nine, seven. That's my personal line. You're gonna call me directly, not a robot, not somebody behind me, not someone over there. You're gonna call me, text me, I'm gonna get on the phone with you and I'm gonna show you what's going wrong with your trading or what you don't know, or maybe what MIC can offer you. So Tosh at myinvestingclub.com, 213-458-5997. I'm gonna help you out. And if you've got an interest for this game or you kind of got bit by the bug of being a day trader, there's no better place than myinvestingclub.com. We're gonna guide you, we're gonna mentor you, and we're gonna help you along your journey. Because here's the thing, if you're gonna go to the gym, you're gonna want a gym buddy. And if you don't know shit about the gym or working out or building laterals and triceps, and well, I don't really know much about that either, but I would hire a personal trainer. It just makes sense. Like I want to know the correct form of whatever I'm doing and get jacked, right? There's no difference from trading. So if you guys want to really take this seriously and understand why you can benefit from learning what needs to be learned, hit me up.